So I've chosen four poems. Uh, all of these are the ones I've written before. Uh, none of them have a title because I don't title my poetry. I leave it up to you guys to give them whatever title you want. Uh, the first poem is regarding the situation we are in right now. There are a lot of mosquitoes. Imagine them being there with no sleep. So this is one I wrote when I was fairly troubled by them. I hope I get to sleep like a log a donkey or even a kumkaran. This is just a prayer, a letter entreating that amazingly annoying mosquito which buzzes every night, very strategically, when the lights go out and then I'm my coziest self tucked into the blanket and out he comes. I flick him, I push him, I try to push him away but please don't do that. Please, I have a test, I have an assignment, even though I haven't done it. <laughs> it's a one-sided conversation, I believe, but I still talk to him. Please find the missus. Go trouble her, like all men do. <laughs> or fly off to my neighbor's room. <laughs> Not tonight, please, I've already had enough. <laughs> Thank you. Realized that her guy is breaking up and as a friend, it's a very short piece I'm looking for her. That half night sweater of blood red wool snits snug on her cold lap. She sips her chai with a distant look, then figuring out the exact moment when he died. Don't try, my love. Don't try to find meaning in a liar's eyes. Come give me that half night sweater and I'll wear it like a scarf over my heart which will ever be yours. Uh, the third one is on the... So this was a... You know how we give... Ask for words from friends to write or ask to have inspiration to write. So a very close friend of mine, Bhatia, gave this to me, a woman undone. And I, it took me a while to come up with what to write. Uh, so this is what I came up with. Like sparks, simmering volcanoes, a woman undone is a sight to behold. Take cover before the explosion, don't blame her if you get scratched. She can only take it for so much longer. Behold as she unleashes of herself on the world, as she conquers the world like a queen she is. You might say she was a woman undone, but friend, it was just she, pure, apologetic, just her true self. The last one is Nadir for leaving my cup. So this is like the poetry for all of those goodbye testimonials that the term is making us write. <laughs> Nostalgia is yellow ice lollies dipped in crisp autumn. Those prams by gone by echoing laughter. Nostalgia is orange basketballs cheering for the win. Those games we lost, the friends we won. Nostalgia is that golden thread from which we untangle the fermented memories of a childhood. Nostalgia is yellow and orange, a faded happiness we are grasping at today. Thank you.